This is where I need more dice. I need more dice. Uh, yeah, I don't need any more dice. That's all that really needed to happen. Um, okay, so in one, essentially all at one movement, Learn Danso turns, and essentially from his robes or from his from his garb, you're not even sure where this came from. He tosses a frag grenade towards the high council, towards the council table. Um, pull, pulls out a holdout blaster. Oh shit! And, yet, <clears throat> and basically answers the guy's question. The hands of Valian and about he just about fires a shot and you see him basically taken off of his feet and he goes down in a heap and now it's in combat at that moment when he does this eight guys appear four on each side of the stand so there's one guy down in front of you um phil uh the one you saw being shifty uh and there's three more behind you they're just kind of spread across this thing and the way these work is they work as groups um and there's four on your side as well, um, Biff, in the, cool. essentially in the, in the general assembly. Okay. Um, naturally, panic. Like, the whole place just erupts into, like, what the hell just happened? The large, black-garbed imperial officer stands up carrying, obviously, giant blaster pistol in his hand. And... Uh, NPC. <clears throat> He's, uh, Can, you see the... I'm sorry? I was just going to clarify. Did you say that my, my good friend Learn Danso just tossed a frag grenade towards the, the, the council. Uh, council? Yes. So, okay. Not the, ro not the royalty, but the, the council. Yeah, yeah, the actual council table, the big... Okay. Uh, great uh, houses. In yeah, the great house. Everybody. Yeah, the great house thing. Okay. And, he's, and he's basically... You're on his left, so he's turning towards the royal box. Uh, and... Before he – basically, he's, he's pulling a holdout blaster. You can tell this is all happening in kind of one move. Yep, yep. Um, he's pulling a holdout blaster and turning towards the royal box, and he gets taken off his feet. That's that's all you see in that second. It's oh, – and he goes down in a heap. I mean, okay. just like yep. in a, a blink of an eye, he, he drops. Oh, boy. Um, and you, you have no idea what happened. You just saw him like essentially right. yep. go down in a heap. Um, and that's when uh, the combat works. Okay, gotcha. Start. Um, how combat works, I know I mentioned this in the email, um, is things act as groups. Um, so I did this, and I'm not sure it's the 100% right way, but the four that are on the right-hand side or on the on the side with Biff are a group. The four that are on the side with uh, Phil are a group. Right. Um, the two security guards that are on the left are a group. The two security guards that are on the right are a group. Essentially, they're separated far enough apart that I said, you know what, they're probably distinct entities, um, sure. not just eight guys. Um, ranges, so you guys know. Um, essentially, anything from the stands to the center dais, like from the front of the stands to the center dais, is medium range. Um, anything inside of that short range, and obviously engaged is when you're in somebody's face. Okay. Um, anything in the stands on your side is short range. Okay, if you're firing across the stands, like if Phil wants to fire into this section, that's medium range. So okay. it's not a gigantic, gigantic room, uh, but it's it's big enough that trying to fire too far is is does make it a little bit difficult. Um, so the four guys that pop out of the stands, those are the NPCs that actually are in the first two slots, um, and they fire at the security guards on their respective sides. So. Um, I'm going to roll for them right fast, and I have their stats on my handy sticky note page, what all these guys are. Um, are you guys supposed to know what their soak and wounds are or not? I think that's, for me, it's up to you to decide. Yeah, I know normally, like, when uh, I play in games, GMs don't let you know how many hit points people have. But I'm okay with that. Um, I wasn't sure. Um, so Yeah, I mean, I, I technically shouldn't. Maybe with unless I'm like really using a perception check to see what their weapon or their armor is, I feel like yeah. you can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Unless anyone else has an ob objection. Yeah, that, that's where uh, the vagaries of the combat in this. I'm not 100 percent like because you guys are able to do so much. Um, right. Right. Sure. Right. Um, all right. Let me uh, roll these guys. Where are they at? Ah, okay. So each of the guys that are in the stands pop up. They have holdout blasters. Um, which are, uh, I believe, damage five uh, pistols. 
I don't even know if any of you guys are carrying a holdout blaster, to be honest with you. I think it's the smallest. Yeah. yeah it's like yeah, this it is, yeah. thing. Um, okay, so they pop up, and they fire as a group. So the way I understand this is you essentially, so there's four of them. You take whatever their skill is um, in the in the thing, so like their base stat, in a sense. Um, and then you convert, you act as if they have a rank in something for every correct um, one over the first one. Correct. So four of them, and of course they don't have enough dice. Um, and like I said, they are firing down at the guards on the left. I'll do Biff's side first. They're firing down at the guards on that side of the room. Um, let's see. I need two of you guys for range. This is where it gets a little mad. This is why I was saying I probably need another pack of dice just so it would... Uh, I can have it all to throw together. So, all right, first shot. Pew, 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 pew. And one, two, three. All right, that is a total of eight. Let me see guards. You see one of the guards on the left take a shot square to the chest. Whoa! Lots of shots go down. One of them takes one square to the chest and drops in a heap. And the ones on the right hand side. Ha! Ah. Not good for you. One of them gets winged pretty heavily, uh, drops to a knee, but he's still standing, um, or still ish standing. That makes mm -hmm. sense. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, they've unloaded hell. That's uh, now it's you guys. Okay. Um, can. <laughs> I think that what I'd like to do is just I'd like to do a quick scan of the room and see if uh, I've got any of my gear or equipment uh, anywhere nearby, if they brought it up <laughs> as well. Yeah, do a uh, easy perception. Okay, easy perception. Actually, do an, yeah, give me an easy one. Okay. I am rolling. I've got a – okay, I got two successes. All right. Uh, you see two things. Um, one, yes, your equipment's just – it's essentially leaned up conveniently towards the uh, uh, against the wall towards the side you came in. Okay. So essentially, there's, there's a pile of stuff there um, that is uh, laying right next to the door, rather suspiciously convenient. Um, the second thing you see is the black garbed uh, imperial is very obviously pointing a blaster pistol at you. Right. Yep. Um, and now, just to a uh, quick clarification, because I realized that I just rolled an, like an, uh, a check, and I think that in, in combat, that counts as like my action, right? And that's supposed to be, I guess I should have, I, I thought I was just doing it as an incidental. I think maybe. perception, is, I would consider it incidental, honestly. Okay. You're so just okay. you're doing a quick glance of the room. If okay, you were perfect. studying to like, you know, what's there, like I would say if you're trying to figure out what everybody was doing, yeah. like. What the hell's going on here? You were actually taking time to do it. That's okay, kind of perfect. How I would look at it. But you were doing more of a, you know, where's my crap at? Quick yeah. scan. So okay. yeah, you, so you still have your maneuver and your action. Great. So with my maneuver, I'm actually going to bolt for the uh, for the equipment. Yep. You can make it there at short range from the center to the edge, so you can make it there um, to your equipment without trouble. Awesome. And then um, I guess I would, I guess I would actually. So if you said it was on the same side that I came in, which means that's the same side where the royal. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, you you came in on the side of the imperials. Okay, yeah, okay. So I'm gonna grab my stuff and oh shizer. Like, so okay. you're already wearing like so you're already wearing your clothing, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just grabbing uh, my axe and my knuckles. Yep. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it action to pick up? Is it an action to actually just pick the stuff up? Um, but... I would I would assume to. It's not just leaned there conveniently, perfectly, but I would think right. in a heap, I would think, yeah, it probably is. Well, um, maneuvers is aiming a weapon, opening a door, diving behind cover, standing up. Um, yeah. I guess if you if you think that, yeah, picking up would, my equipment, I, I could do that as a second maneuver, sacrifice my action for a maneuver. Yep. Yeah. Or I, I think you can actually take two strain to do a second maneuver and still keep your action. Um, I believe if I'm reading that right. Because I know you can take two strain to do a second maneuver. You can never do more than two maneuvers in a turn. You know um, what? Yeah. You could convert your action to a maneuver for free is the way I was reading it. Like the I no might, strain. I might not. Is, am I right on that or is that? Yeah, yeah. I think, I think you are absolutely correct. I think that I would prefer to just kind of, if it's possible, you let me know if this is beyond the scope of my ability. But 
my second action, I'll just use this maneuver to kind of get my gear and maybe just kind of step into the hall where, where it's leaned up against. Like, so okay. I'm not in direct sight of everybody. Gotcha. Um, yeah, you can do that. The two security guards pay you no mind. They are uh, engaged in a firefight with the people in the stands. Um, okay. They see you go by, but they don't, they don't right. suddenly adjust their aim, if that makes sense. Gotcha. Um, uh, okay, so that's Jake. And like I said, y'all can do this in any order. Um, so, um, Diff and Phil, whichever you would like to go. It doesn't really matter since you're all at the same time, but uh, just in case you decide y'all want to fire at the same person <laughs> or same group because you fire at groups. So, I'd, I'd prefer to let Phil go. <laughs> okay. <If> you don't mind. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, so, I think uh, I'm going to definitely uh, draw my blaster one with okay. my maneuver all right um let's see do i want to get cover first or just try i think I'm gonna, I'll, I'll try to blast one of these uh gangsters all right they're all at short range to you um all right and they're not expecting it so take a boost die please because okay. they're all focused the other direction they're all like i said shooting into the uh security guards so they don't even notice essentially you Okay, and this is a. Uh, It'll be one purple for range. One purple. I believe. Got that here somewhere. At least I had it here somewhere. I thought I did. Okay, it's a uh, push with uh, three advantage. <laughs> it's pretty bad. Um, I, that. Yeah, I know. Come on, guys. This is, this is going to be a short, short campaign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Um. Where are we at? Uh, the, 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 what am I thinking? Do advantages without a hit? Do they even let you do anything? It's nice yeah. I don't. Think they they might you know make it harder for me them to hit me. Or, I miss right. But um, well, you could even you know, say I like shake them up or something. You fire wildly and jump into cover or something. Yeah, I think Is you it for something. Yeah, the sheet says that you could use two advantage to perform an immediate free maneuver. Yeah, I'll, I'll go into cover then. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Um, and that gives you, or makes the attacker take one black die, correct? Uh, right. Yes. Okay. Um, Biff. So I'm going to, yeah, I want to, uh, because I'm assuming I've got some of the high ground because I'm yes. kind of, I'm all the way up there in the euchre seats. Yeah, you're um, behind, you're behind the four that are in your section. Okay. Um, I want to get, I want to get into some kind of cover even if that's kind of rolling back behind the seats or something that I'm in. Yeah. Um, you can get cover because there are people here. So <laughs> they might be people oh. cover, but it's cover enough. Um, for, so I'm uh, already in cover. Is uh, that what you're saying? No, it, no, if you stand up to fire, then no, you're not in cover. Because everybody's kind of ducking and, and panicking. But you can you can kind of use them for cover. Does that make sense? Because it's, it's, this isn't a hard, I flip the table and dump behind the table, like, Cover is kind of a defensive bonus, so okay. as long as you're being like the way I read it in this instance is, hey, I'm keeping people between. You know, I'm trying to you know shoot around people and not be an obvious like just standing. Not up. like you know taking somebody and just use them as a human shield. Right. Yeah, he's not doing that. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, if you <clears throat> are, <laughs> no. <laughs> that the pool anywhere. So, so that lady that slapped just... me. <laughs> yeah. She's not my shield. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Okay. All right, it's a roll. This will be fun. So, see, so, so yeah, I'm just gonna since I'm since I'm kind of using the crowd and the panic as a little bit of my my cover. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and and take a shot at okay. uh, uh, I suppose the yeah, yeah short it's, it's range. A, it's a group, so uh, you're just basically I'm firing at the uh, the way I read it. It's like you're, it's cinematic, so I'm firing at the stormtroopers in front of me. I'm firing at these um, nameless, faceless. Uh, Individuals who just popped up out of the crowd started shooting into the uh, yep shooting a security guard. Um, uh, okay, so I need to. Uh, this would be a ranged light because I'm using my blaster pistol. <clears throat> and is there a bonus on this? Uh, yeah, you'll get the one boost just like uh, Phil did because they're not expecting you. Um, and it's an easy shot because it's a uh, close range, so it's only okay. one one purple. And so we roll that. <clears throat> and I've got uh, one success with an advantage, a single advantage. 
Okay. Uh, you can use the advantage for I'm looking to see what all you can actually use it for. Notice a certain important point in the ongoing conflict. Uh, inflict a critical injury with a successful attack that deals damage past soak, but it costs. You have to pay the cost of the enough of those. Uh, okay. So you did one plus you have a blaster, like a regular blaster pistol. Is that right? I have the blaster, yeah, regular blaster pistol. Damage is six. Damage is six. So seven total. Uh, let's see. Dun, 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 yep. Uh, you see one of them in your, your section drops. Oh, okay. Huge, huge blaster. Oh, it takes him square in the back. Oh, he tumbles into the crowd. Um, nice shot, Biff. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Somebody, somebody had to shoot something eventually. <laughs> <laughs> That's in the left section, I believe. Um, all right. So I, uh, so I wink at the lady that was in front of me as I blow the smoke out of the end of the blaster. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold on. I got to here. Where's my skill table? <laughs> Let's uh, see here. Um, <laughs> roll, uh, roll me a uh, average charm roll. <laughs> Average. <laughs> you were looking at uh, her unmentionable. Her, yes. Her, 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 uh, <laughs> That's two difficulty die, Biff. <laughs> <laughs> One for each. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> I got, I got a, I got, I got a success and a threat. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to make a note of that. This will come into play later. Okay. <laughs> you do see, she does notice the wink, by the way. <laughs> oh, this is what happens in games, though. It's always uh, this one. Hold up. Uh, nameless lady in crowd. Right there. there you go. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see. Let me continue here. Hmm. All right. All right. If there we go. Um, the uh, troopers on the ground or security on the ground fires back what's left of them um, into their respective sections. Let's see. The group on the left is actually only one guy now. That sucks for them. Um, they're carrying blaster rifles, by the by, um, so they can do quite a bit of damage if they hit. We need a couple of these. But, uh, uh, and yeah, she takes rid of these. The guy on the left, you know, yells a classic, no, nah! and fires into the crowd and kills one of them in your section, Biff. Nice. Woo -hoo! Takes vengeance for his fallen comrade and nice. severely wings another one, actually. Wow. Sprays oh. the crowd. Somehow not hitting the crowd. We don't really know how that happened, but, uh. Let's see, so that knocks you guys. Training. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is, they, these guys are trained guards. So, um, The guy in the other section, or I should say the two in the other section, fire into Phil's side. Yeah, might help if I roll purple dice too. Minus uh, that. And two of them drop in Phil's side. Wow. Nice. Yeah, these guys are actually hitting tonight. So uh, I, wow. I actually tested this, believe it or not. <laughs> I was like, I hope, the, I hope you guys can hit something because uh, otherwise it might be ugly. But uh, apparently they're doing uh, y'all's jobs tonight. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so it rolls back around. The uh, guys in the crowds continue to fire. Uh, people are starting to stream out uh, as fast as they can at this point. Uh, the room's starting to empty slowly, but it is starting to empty. As uh, people crawl over one another, lots of screaming and yelling and, and, and that sort of thing. Um, they fire down back on the same security guards. Actually, um, I'm sorry. I forgot the one NPC. That was uh, the man in black. I forgot about him. Um, Jake, you were in the hallway completely covered or just covered? I wanted to kind of basically prevent him from shooting at me. That was the, uh, the intent of being in the hall. Okay. Um, well, you see him hop the rail, um, hop the little section rail that he's in, oh, and round the corner to see you. Oh, crap. Uh, and uh, take a shot. Okay. Let's see. Um, 
You can certainly tell at this point that he has one thing on his mind. Yes, I can. Uh, is his... He has just your standard, uh, what is it, heavy blaster pistol? Okay. Yeah, Herod's heavy blaster pistol. All right. I had the damage written down. I didn't write down the name of the weapon. How smart is that? Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Where are you at, Mr. Dude? Oh, there you are. I need two of these. I need one of those. Ooh. Ooh. Yes, I'm going to get a player character already. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, he hits for uh, 10 total damage. But you, get all your, but you get all your soak for it, remember? Yeah, heck yeah. Okay. So, so that's three damage. Three damage. <laughs> Just like, oh my god, Ting wings him. So, um, he comes around the corner. He, he sees you. He can, oh, he fires and it catches you in the shoulder. It certainly hurt. Um, I'll let you keep track of your wounds. Yep, um, I got it. I got it here. Okay. Um, it definitely hurt. And you can see he, uh, it is definitely mad at you. He, for some reason, he wants you dead. Um, give me, uh, a quick perception check. From the two people still in the room, um, Phil and Biff. Oh, not me. Okay. Oh, yes. perception. Yep. This okay. uh, a uh, this one's actually gonna be average since there's a lot of crap going on at this point. Okay. All right. So that's that's two dice, two purple. Yes. All right. Uh, two success, one advantage. All right, and Biff. Uh, man, I'm uh, two success, but two threats. <laughs> I'm having a that hard lady. time with this lady in front of me. <laughs> you're, you're making it difficult for me to even figure out what's happening to you over on that section. <laughs> <laughs> this is just so stupid. Um, okay, well, hold on. Let me think on my feet for a second here. Um, let's see here. Where am I at in my notes? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, here we are. Um, both of you notice very obviously that the Imperials and their little corral are paying no fear, no, you know, worry at scared. all to this gunfire. They're not scared. They're not concerned. They don't even look like they're, um, panicking in any way. Like they almost expected it. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, on this section, <laughs> he notices that, uh, the lady in front of him, Probably has a husband now because he seems to be glaring. At <laughs> um, <laughs> and he's dra as he drags his wife out of the way. She's giving you lovey eyes, but he's not having any of it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> so uh, you were able to see the same thing with the Imperials, but uh, you may have been noticed by her uh, significant other while you were doing this. He's still not sure what you're looking at. Though. Um, you could be be looking at his wife's. Uh, Huge tracts of land. So, um, <laughs> okay. So, back to uh, back to our combat. Um, so, is this starting now? A, a second round? Yeah, it's essentially starting the second round of, okay. of combat now. Um, so, and it, what happened to that grenade? Did it? Oh, yeah, the grenade went off. off. Yeah, the, okay. yeah, the grenade goes off pretty much immediately. Um, you really can't see that side of the room. A lot of smoke. A lot of dust. Um, a lot of people screaming. <laughs> so, okay. Um, it, it went off. It, it was not so much so far away you couldn't see it, but uh, it kind of obscured itself. Like, you know something bad happened up there. You're not really sure. Um, okay. You're a little too preoccupied at the moment. Um, so the remaining guys on the left, they continue firing down at the security um, on the left. There are – let me work my sheet at. Uh, only two of them now. Um, so – they're being a little panicky, and they're starting to move down closer to the uh, to the rail uh, to fire. It's it's getting difficult for them to move because there's so many people kind of scattering. But you can see they're not really paying attention to the people. They're really dead set on those security guards um, for one reason or another. Let's see. And where's the soak for these guys at? Do, do, do. And it's on the left hand side. And there is a, there is only one guard left on the left hand side i'm sorry um yep uh he takes a hit uh he glances off shoulder but he doesn't go down it's just a looks like he just barely grazed him as far as you can tell um he shrugs it off in a sense um you can tell he you can tell he got hurt but he uh it didn't really phase him enough to worry him at the moment <laughs> um the group on your side uh 
Phil. There's only two of them there as well. The uh, security guards got their aim in last time. Mm. Um, so they fire back at the guards at the bottom. Uh, ooh, ooh. Hold on, what does that symbol do? Dun, 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 dun. Upgrade, blah, blah, blah. Hold on, I'm looking to see. Oh, ooh. Um, you see a blaster... One of the blaster bolts runs right through the neck of one of the guards, drops, <clears throat> basically uh, just kills him instantly. It was very, I would say it's gory, but I think blaster bolts kind of cauterize as they go through. Isn't that right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So, yeah, it, it very obviously kills this dude, like in one one clean shot through the neck. Um, I, I roll a, one of those Jedi symbols. Uh, the triumph. <laughs> yeah. The triumph, which, yeah. The triumph, the triumph which next is a shot. Critical, which basically can turn a critical. Um, on a successful, successful attack past soak, and criticals kill NPCs immediately. Um, is the way it was always the way I read it. Nice. Um, so if you critical like a, I guess a low end NPC, I think it kills them like a a, a minion. If that makes sense, like a right. yeah, a, yeah. A cannon fodder level NPC. So uh, that's basically what just happened. Um, let's see where we're at here. So that's you. So now there is only one left on that side, and. Uh, Two, uh, essentially two on each side are left. Two uh, folks in the stands, and it's now your player's turn. Okay. Any order? I want to drink some water with this. All right. Um, do you guys mind if I go again, or yeah, do your thing, Jake. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Have lunch. So yeah, right. My uh, incidental. Uh, I'd like to engage in some banter with this guy, just very, very briefly. And I'm going okay. to <laughs> kind of put on a little menacing, like, kind of glance at my shoulder and turn back to him right. and say, thank you. <laughs> and then uh, if, if he does or doesn't respond, if he doesn't say what. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you piece of crap. <laughs> or whatever. Yeah. I'm going to say, thank yeah. you for coming to the floor. Now I won't have to climb to get you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm going to uh, use my maneuver and um, – I'm going to I'm going to try and close that gap. You can move the range band closer to him to get. Yeah, can you can you go from short to engage right? And yeah. Yeah. yeah, so you can engage him. Um, so really want to, like, just kind of barrel into him, and I'm going. To... Sounds like there's a lot of stuff in the way. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of hands. Yes. Clang, it sounds clang. like there's a lot of pans and clicks. <laughs> can y'all hear the music? Is this like playing? the kitchen cabinet of the Great Hall? Um... <laughs> <laughs> can y'all hear the music that's playing in the background? Because it's like perfect fight music on my side. So. I can't. Oh, I can't hear it. Yeah. Um, okay. Um, so, or, or so I'd like to. I'd like to get. So I'm in. I'm engaged with him now. I'd like to. Um, yeah. I'd like to attack him, and I think I'm going to go with uh, just my uh, uh, my brawl uh, skills here. So, um, kind of using my the axe, huh? Yeah, I, I'm gonna kind of leave it to my my claws, which have the little brass knuckles on them. And oh, uh, geez. That, that feels like that somehow cheating. You know, oh, what, I, these... I have razor sharp claws and brass knuckles. Yes, <laughs> these are these are special customized Trandoshan brass knuckles. Where it, in fact, most most Satan being sentient beings just have it like over their knuckles. Mine are actually kind of reverse uh, claws for my own claws. So Oh, they're like those climbing claw sort of things? or Something like that, yeah. So my claws naturally go forward. These give me a little serrated hook back on my, uh, oh, my, my three talons. <laughs> All right, punch away. Or... All right. <laughs> Gonna make sure I don't shake hands with you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's a hell of a joy buzzer he's got now. Right, so <laughs> let's give this a try. So I get my, um, my brawl one. Yeah, and I honestly do not know the skill check difficulty and engage. I don't have it in front of me. Is that nothing? Uh, it should. Always, I think it's always just. It, you can tell how hard or difficult it is me for to do to do, but generally it's just two dice. I think. Um, oh, it's always just two dice. For unless it's melee? like unless there's someone like that's prone, and then it's like just one die. Like I can just wail on them, or if, unless it's like me against. I don't know. If I'm on the ground and punching upwards, then it might be three difficulty dice. Yeah, let me see. It's on page 218. Let me see if I can see if there's anything obvious right fast. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 218. Well, that doesn't help me at all. Yeah, I can't remember exactly what page I read it on. Um, all right, hold on. Let's just 
read through this right quick. It's not really very helpful, is it? Mm -mm -mm. Yes, a melee attack is most likely using melee or brawl skill. I think I figured that much out. But, uh... <laughs> yeah. It, that's great explanation there, FFG. Thank you. Let's see if we can find another one. Hmm. 133 or 167. I just don't want to make it more difficult than it's supposed to be. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I uh, see it here on 224. It looks like it might be. Um, unarmed combat. Uh, da, 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 use the brawl combat skill. 224. Oh, there it is. Additional combat modifiers. Engage with range. Engage with range heavy. Engage with gunnery. Is that just ranged? Oh, that's, that's shooting into. That's shooting into. Yeah, melee. that's if you're shooting in or out. Improvised weapons. That's awesome. I improvised everything. Savage of his prone. Not down. It doesn't say. At least nowhere I'm seeing. Does anybody see this as an obvious? thing that I'm just missing. Yeah, it's interesting. I know it's earlier somewhere. Um, That's why I was I'm, looking at this. I was going to look up the skill. I'm yeah. I'm looking at the, the third paragraph under unarmed combat on page 224. Oh, it's average. Um, it says the difficulty of brawl checks is average. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's okay. that's just the One two. Incapable of resisting check might be easier at my discretion. No, it's average. He's a, he's a seasoned combatant, so it would be average. So I'll add my two little uh, difficulty die there. All right, let's give her a give her a whirl and see what happens. Your ridiculous brawl skill. Yeah. All right. So it's true. Harder than blasters. <laughs> so I get uh, two success with two advantage off of that. Okay. So what is your total damage with the so that all means, crazy yep. uh, pluses? So what I'm going to get is dun dun dun. I was using my brass knuckles there. So that would be. Uh, six, seven. Uh, so that would be, and then how many? How many did I get? Two success, two advantage. All right. So then it's just the uh, you add. How do you add an additional damage with the additional successes or advantages? Successes. They add the additional, but, but uh, with two advantage, you could uh, um, perform an immediate free action or free maneuver. Does okay. not exceed your two or Add one uh, of the black dice to his next uh, check. Okay. So then so it'll make it difficult it, for him to do whatever he's going right. to do next. Sort of. So then total, it's going to be eight damage, and All I'll right. add one black dice to whatever his next attack against me is. All right. Make sure I don't forget uh, that. Let's see. So you did eight total. Correct. All right. Uh, you definitely winded him. Um, he felt it, um, but you can tell he's wearing armor. Mm -hmm. um, so he is. Let's see. He did eight. You said. Yep. Yeah, you can definitely tell he's armored yeah. uh, underneath, probably, or whatever he's wearing. He's armored. Your your claws uh, bounce off of some armor, or you can feel it. <laughs> it's like a nice scratching post. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've you've felt this type of armor before. Ah, uh, so, uh, you're familiar, familiar with, with its texture. Yes, you're like, ah, now I know how to attack it. Um, yep. Okay. Uh, Biff and Phil. All right. So uh, I'm going to do uh, largely the same thing I did before, I'll, but I'll uh, aim this time. Okay. Uh, so I'll aim at one of the uh, gangsters close to me. Okay. So that's, that's still uh, short range, right? Yes. This should be good. Um, okay, so four success mm. and one advantage. All right, how much damage did that do? <laughs> uh, so my blaster is eight. With oh, the, uh, crow. With a little mod that I have on it. Um, so 12 damage. Oh, my God. Hold on. Let me see here. Wait, okay. Um... <laughs> This is where that, that whole thing comes into. Um, Phil shows off an incredible display of gunnery. He, you see him sight for a second, and then he goes, pew, and then wings a guy to the right, too. Both of them drop. Thunk, thunk. Nice. 
hits. He killed both of them. And, uh, I'm going to use my advantage to notice a single important point in the ongoing conflict. Um, you see Haskin making a slow, but as fast as he can, uh, head towards the exit on the far side, uh, towards the queen. Um, that door. You know, you see what I'm saying? The one gotcha. that's opposite of me. So Correct. Yep. Not so the hallway I'm in. Correct. He's headed in the opposite direction. Um, probably because you ran down there. Yep. Um, so he's he's basically huffing it as fast as his uh, portly body can get him across the uh, across the room um, towards that, that door. Obviously, no, nobody's firing at him. Nobody's doing anything. Um, Kretzner, the major, is behind him. Um, and you see the other two generic officers also in tow. So all of the uh, uh, Navy folk are making a run for it, is what you see. Um, also, the... Uh, this isn't massively important because you, uh, both of you guys in the stands notice that uh, the queen's box, uh, queen's still there, handmaiden's still there. They're hunkered down beneath the uh, the railing. Um, the rest of the nobility have scattered, like they're being stupid, basically running uh, towards random doors. What would you see in a movie, basically? One person running to the left. One person running to the right. None of them running towards the clearly marked ex exits um, right, right. that that we know this place <laughs> has because it's Union Run. So we know there's going to be clearly marked exits. <laughs> <laughs> so, but but these people are nobility. They don't know how to follow instructions. So they're oh my god, oh my god. The classic kind of like I said, Hollywood people running in opposite directions um, in a cha chaotic scene. Um, Biff, you. So basically, Phil's side is clean. He just. Uh, Took an amazing couple of shots, pew, 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 and took out the uh, uh, the two remaining people on his side. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'm gonna continue on with my attack, but I got to do a good job because I obviously don't want to lose the attention of the fine young lady that's in front of me now that right. Phil's showing off his <laughs> abilities. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, this is true. Her eyes could be drifting. Yeah. You don't know. It's difficult to tell. <laughs> <laughs> so you still have so, two in your section as well. Uh, still uh, yep. close range. So I'm gonna I'm gonna focus in on those guys. All right. So your um, aim as well. Yep. Okay. And uh, that gives you one boost die, correct? I believe that's what that does. That's right. Uh, Aiming is one, one the, boost die. Yeah, one of the blue dice or whitish blue. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And is it? Is this an easy? I'm going at what? Yeah, it's a, it's a one purple die because you're still okay. at short range to these guys. Um, they know you're there now, so you're not getting an additional kind of in a sense, surprise die, which is what you were getting the first turn. But uh, okay. they definitely know you're there, but they're not really focusing on you. Okay. Um, wow. I suppose the charm's really going to start rolling off now. Um, <laughs> I wind up with uh, three successes and three advantage. Oh, wow. Um, total damage on your side? Probably a lot. Um, so I've got six for the blaster pistol. Right. And, so and I pick two. up what? Two because of the extra, so eight total damage. Then, all right, nice. so you got eight total. All right, yeah, you you definitely clean one of them down, and the other one he's wounded heavily in the hip. Oh, you see him, you see it blast and hit him. He doesn't drop completely. He's he's very very obviously seriously wounded now, uh, but one of them's dead. You did kill the other one, so just one left. So I, um, I got the three oh, advantage. We got, yep, and you can spin those. Actually, you can do all sorts of things with them. A three. So can I do this like critical injury for the guy that's uh uh do you have is that how much does that cost you for can those? force him to drop a weapon he's holding well I mean if, if his weapon can use the three advantages for the critical I don't know how oh. many does that make sense yeah, like so your weapon got, should yeah, have a crit right, rating somewhere yeah it is it is a three crit yes yeah, so you could burn uh, all three of those to essentially clean out that second guy or the last yeah. guy yeah let's do you would, crit, you would crit him, essentially. Yep. Okay. Well, the wound through his... Uh, he, he hobbles forward. Oh, apparently, you got him cleaner than you thought. It was more of a death spasm, him trying to clamber forward. Um, and uh, he falls silent. Um, wow, just as my music cut off. That was funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that's you guys. NPC is uh, the one engaged with uh, Jake. Um... <clears throat> Can a person fire into short, like, or do they, does he have to melee you now? Uh, there is a, I believe you can actually, there is isn't that. I think he can we disengage. Can you? He, he can try to disengage, yeah. Is it a roll for me to disengage? 
Gotta love new new gaming systems. Uh, range bands engage and uh, consider subcategory. And it should be under the actions for a uh, for a. Uh, I think it, he can there. he can make a range attack while engaged. It's nice. risky. He yeah. has to let the shot. Um, Prone preparation. Engage or disengage from an opponent. If a target's already within short range of a character, the character can perform a maneuver to engage. If a character's engaged with an opponent or adversary, he must perform a maneuver to disengage. Only changes his range relative to the opponent. So it doesn't look like there's a role. He just has to use his maneuver to back out, basically. Okay, interesting. Um, so that's what he'll do, and then obviously he'll fire. Okay. Um, with the... Uh, where is he? He at? does get a black dice, I think. From yes, that. you gave him one black die. You're at short range, so it's only it was one purple. And then his normal skill. Jake toe to toe with an imperial stormtrooper captain. Ooh, <laughs> he misses. Ah, uh, excellent. With your black die, actually. <laughs> like, yeah, he, there uh, you go, baby. No successes, although he got a crap ton of advantage. Just he can't really use it because he didn't hit. Um, although he can uh, always. If you don't hit, are you able to use the advantage you roll? Um, I think they can translate into like other. Well, that like spin, like the spinning it in combat, for example, would he be yeah. able to use it? Uh, well, he, obviously, he wouldn't be able to do any damage with it, but he w potentially, like you, he potentially yeah. could do something like get into a better position or, or right. whatever. Right. What he would, Maneuver. yeah, he, he rolled four advantages. Um, that's, that's good. That's why. He he didn't hit. <laughs> so, um, and, and until we figure out otherwise or people yell at us, um, he's going to basically use it for his free maneuver, for the free second maneuver, yeah. and uh, fall back to uh, essentially covering fire for the Imperials fleeing out the other door. Interesting. Okay. That makes sense. So he's pew, 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 firing and backing up mm -hmm. uh, to uh, get away from you. Uh, mm -hmm. essentially. Mm -hmm. um, that uh, is the end of another round of combat. Um we have just the Imperial Guard left. I'm sorry, Imperial Guard. Imperial uh, Stormtrooper. The others are running. Um, you guys are still in the stands. That's what we're at at this point. Um, the gunmen that were in the stands are all gone. The room's starting to empty very fast. Um, Haskin makes it out the other door um, here at the end of this round. Oh, uh, he runs out, you know, clumsily, heavily out the other door. Waddle, fast waddle um, out the other door. Uh, we do, there will be another round. Of combat, so uh, you guys are first. Since you so is it off. just yeah. is it just the big stormtrooper guy, the captain? Yes, he's the only one left in there. Um, oh, good. Well, you guys, yeah, you guys. He's the only one left in there. That's a, that's an obvious combatant. Well, he so. and I have some uh, business. We we are in the yeah. middle of a conversation there. I think. Yeah. So, you, but you did see him tear off. Uh, Phil and Biff, you guys did notice very obvious mm. him tear off after the Trandoshan. Um, and okay. uh, you, you have to think what you want about that. Um, you saw him go into essentially the door frame uh, on the opposite side. Um, right. Trandoshan left onto him pretty fast. And then he he's like, oh, crap, raw, and started backing up and firing back at the Trandoshan. Um, it's very obvious the Trandoshan is probably going to be following, like chasing right, him down. Right. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Gotcha. Okay. So that's where so. you're at at this point as we start back up. 